Since Boeing developed the 707, it's stretched its commercial models with increasingly more efficient and longer range derivatives. The latest is the 787-9, which is here at Farnborough for the first time. So let's see what the 787-9 is all about. The 787-9 is a stretch of the Dash 8. So where does the stretch take place? Essentially, the fuselage has extra length either side of the wing, 10 feet forward of the wing, 10 feet behind. The overall length is therefore 206 feet, which is 20 feet longer than the Dash 8. This enables it to fit um, 280 passengers in a typical three-class configuration. The clever thing about doing this is that Boeing has managed to achieve a longer range, higher capacity aircraft that burns the same low fuel numbers as the original 78-8. Part of the drive of the efficiency of the 787 is to increase the low fuel burn performance of both the General Electric GE and X 1B and the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000, both of which are offered on the 787. This particular Dash 9 is powered by the latest version of the Trent 1000 from Rolls-Royce, a so-called Package C configuration, which drives to achieve parity on fuel burn with the latest standard offered on the aircraft. Although the wing of the 787-9 looks identical to the Dash 8, it is in fact quite different. It is the same span, it's made of the same materials, but inside the structure is slightly more flexible. That means that Boeing can get more out of it in terms of performance, and it's a key factor in the longer range and endurance of this model. Of particular interest is the fact that the center of pressure of lift is moved further outboard. In cruise, for example, the trailing edge variable camber system is deployed further out, produce more lift across the full span of the wing. That is the way that they've managed to achieve, achieve optimum efficiency across the full flight envelope. Drag is a fact of life for any aircraft that flies through the skies, and trying to minimize that is a key target for every designer. With the 787-9, Boeing went to new lengths to reduce that and came up with a bit of magic. It's a new system called a hybrid laminar flow controller, HLFC system. Now, Boeing hasn't actually said that much about it, but here's what we do know. If you look closely at the trailing, at the root of the horizontal and vertical stabilizers, you'll see a small device. This is actually part of a, the HLFC system and allows air to be sucked in from the boundary layer, making it smoother as it flies, as the air passes over the surfaces of these controlled surfaces. So this essentially helps you reduce drag by a considerable amount. The best thing about it from Boeing's perspective is it's a zero maintenance item. It's not even, there isn't even a control device for it in the cockpit. So this is the first commercial application of such a system and no doubt we're going to see it again on future commercial aircraft. I'm here on the flight deck of the 787-9 with the 787 Chief Test Pilot Randy Neville for the Boeing Company. So Randy, can we talk a little bit about what is different about the Dash 9 and how it's been handling in flight testing. The 77-9 from a pilot perspective is very similar to the Dash 8. Now for the customer, for the airline, it's a 20 foot stretch, 40 more passengers. It has a, about two to 300 more miles range than the Dash 8. So much better fuel economics, more passengers, same range. Could you explain a little bit about why they are there and what they do? The only change in the flight deck for the pilots to be concerned with is has to do with the flap handle. So the flap settings that we apply when we're taking off, we've added a few extra flap settings. And the unique aspect of that, the advantage of that, is it allows us to fine tune the performance of the airplane based on the length of the runway and the gross weight of the airplane. So there's a few locations that we can optimize the flap setting. Now, the uh, flying display here is well known for its aerobatics and uh, extreme maneuvering. But of course, that doesn't normally apply to airliners. Yet, in the verification display flights, we've seen the 787 already perform some amazing maneuvers. 
Um, could you describe a bit about the, the manoeuvring, um, the display that you've created for this year's show and uh, also perhaps talk a bit about how the structure and the flight control system help you achieve such um, astonishing maneuvers. We love flying the airplane, we love showing it to the public. I don't when I say we, I'm talking to myself and Mike Bryan right now, one of our elite project pilots on the Dash 9, on the 787 program. He and I are flying the airplane. We flown, by the way, the same, generally the same profile last year at Paris and two years ago here at Farnborough. That was the first time that Boeing had a transport airplane flying a, a formal aerial display at one of the air shows. We love showing the airplane. I think it, when you see the profile, it, you know, there's a steep climb initially. Excellent performance out of this this airplane. The Dash 9 does have slightly more powerful engines than the Dash 8. Excellent performance for a steep climb. We like to do a hard turn back and point at the crowd so that they can see the, that elegant sweep of the wings. Uh, we do some turns overhead to the crowd so that they can see the, the platform view of the 787 and hear how quiet the engines are as we fly by. So we love showing off those features of the airplane for the public and the media here.